Jay, Jay, Sri Chaitanya. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, everybody. Oh, it's so nice to see you. Hello. Oh, it's been such a long time. I'm so glad you're here. You've come just at the right time because I wanted to introduce you to my favorite, one of my favorite friends. His name is, well, actually, he has a few names. Uh, I'll tell you a few of his names. Well, he was born under a neem tree. So then his parents, his mummy and daddy, called him Nimai. Harry Ball Nimai, nice to see you. He also has golden limbs. And so people called him Goranga. Gora means golden, Anga means limbs, because his arms are golden, his legs are golden, his face is golden, his whole body is golden. So they called him Goranga. Harry Ball Goranga, nice to see you. And they also called him Krishna Chaitanya because he was always thinking about Krishna. He was such a wonderful devotee of Lord Krishna. Can I tell you a secret? Are you good at keeping secrets? You are? Oh, brilliant. Are you sure? All right then. Well, don't tell anybody. But actually, Goranga, Krishna Chaitanya, Nimai, he's actually Lord Krishna. You see, Lord Krishna was thinking, I have so many devotees, wonderful devotees, who love me so much. They don't want anything else in this world, nothing else. They just want to love me because they, they feel so happy with their love for me. I want to feel that too, but I can't because I'm Krishna. Hey, I'm Krishna. I can be whoever I want to be. And then he thought, I have a master plan. I'm going to come down to earth and I'm going to come as a devotee and I'm going to love Krishna and I'm going to feel what it feels like to be in love with Krishna. And that's what he did. He came 500 years ago and he came as a wonderful devotee. And oh my goodness, the taste he felt, that love he felt for Krishna was, was just, it was just too much. He wanted to tell everyone about it. He wanted everyone to feel this love for Krishna because it was the best feeling in the whole wide world. Hi, my name's Goranga. I have a golden hue. Please chant the holy names. Oh, it's good for you. When Madai hurts my nithai on his head, I call Chakra, 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 and my eyes go red. Oh, I wonder what's happening there. Do you want to find out what just happened? What happened? Why did somebody hit somebody else on his head? And why did Lord Chaitanya get very angry and pull out his chakra? And, and why did his eyes go red? What's going on? Do you want to go into that story and find out? You do? So do I. Should we go together? But we need to say our magic words. Our magic words are different this time. I'm going to need your help. We need our hands. Are you able to clap your hands like this? Are you able to clap your chest like this? Are you able to tap your shoulders like this? Are you able to tap your thighs like this? Are you ready? I think you're ready then. Let's do it. We're going to do two claps on each, each side. Are you ready? Get your hands ready. And... Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vinda Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vinda Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vinda 
brilliant. Now let's see where we turn up. It. We're here! We are here in the village of Nadia and right now Lord Chaitanya is calling his brother Nityananda. Hey, can I tell you another secret? You better be good at keeping secrets. Nityananda is Balaram. Do you remember Balaram? Balaram the one who fought Vivida the gorilla. He's come here too. He's come as Lord Nityananda. Now Goranga, Lord Chaitanya calls Nityananda, he also calls Haridas. And do you know who Haridas is? Haridas is Lord Brahma, the four-headed creator. He's come too. They all want to be with Krishna. <laughs> but keep it to yourselves. Shh. Now he calls Nityananda and he calls him and says, Shuno. Shuno means listen. What do we listen with? Do we listen with our nose? No. Well, do we listen with our eyes? No. Sorry, what was that you're saying? Oh, you listen with your, oh, with your ears. Yes, we listen with our wiggly wiggly ears. And so what we're going to do is we are going to touch our ears when we sing Shuno Shuno. Listen, listen, Nityananda. Listen, Hari Das. Are you ready? Lord Chaitanya says, Shuno Shuno Nitya Nanda. Listen, listen, Nitya Nanda. Shuno Hari Das. Listen, Hari They came running to Lord Chaitanya and they said, yes, yes, we're listening. We're listening with our ears. What is it? Now Lord Chaitanya said, Nityananda, Haridas, I would like you to do me a favour. They said, of course, whatever you like. He said, well, I would like you both to go to every town and every village and go to every house. I want you to do a rat-a-tap-tap -tap on every door. And when they open the door, I want you to beg the people to please worship Krishna, chant Krishna's names. Krishna's your mother, Krishna's your father. I'd like you to say, hear about Krishna all day long. Talk of his love and trickeries. Remember him and sing his songs. And pop will go your miseries. Pop will your wealth is here. Pop, he's your everything. And then you'll see that Krishna's here. They said, of course. We'd, we'd love to do that. We'd love to do anything you ask us to do. We will go right away. And off they ran. Whoosh! Oh, they were so excited to be on this mission, to go knock, knock, knocking on people's doors, rat-a-tat-tat. Oh, yes, we will, they thought. We are going to do this for Lord Chaitanya because he wants us to. And I bet everyone's going to start chanting Krishna's names. They chant, they knocked on the first door with a rat-a-tat-tat. <laughs> the door opened. They said, hello. Can you chant about, hear about Krishna all day long? Talk of his love and trickeries. Remember him and sing his songs. Pop will go your miseries. They said, yes, of course. We will do, we will do. Thank you for telling us. Of course, we'll start chanting Hare Krishna right away. Okay, bye-bye. And they said, bye-bye. Oh, that was a good one. Let's go to the next house. They went to the next house and they knocked on the door. rat a hat tat The door opened wide. They said, hello. Could you please? Hear about Krishna all day long. Talk of his love and trickeries. Remember him and sing his songs. Oh, pop will go your miseries. What did you say? 
um, well, well, we told you to hear a chant about Krishna, hear about Krishna. You guys, what are you, uh, you two, Nityananda and Haridas, you're, you're a bit crazy, aren't you? You've been hanging around with that Nimai. He's a crazy one too. Because you've been hanging around with him, you two have turned crazy. What are you doing? Go away from here! Oh, poor Nityananda, poor Haridas. They walked away. But that did not stop them. They went to the next house. Oh, rat a tat tat! And the door opened wide. And they said, hello, could you please hear about Krishna all day long? Talk of his love and trickeries. Remember him and sing his songs. Oh, pop will go your miseries. What did you just say? You know what? I know what you two are up to. You two are spies. You're knocking on my door because you want to have a look behind me and see what's inside my house. You want to see where we hide all our valuable jewels. I know what you're up to and you're going to go and tell your friends who are thieves and they're going to come and rob our house later on. I know what your plan is to do and I'm on to you and you two are not going to get away with this. You better get out of here fast. That was not what Nichinanda and Haridas meant to do. They just wanted to ask them to chant Krishna's names, really. Oh, off they walked. But that did not stop them either. They were ready to knock on the next door. They were ready. Let's do it. Let's knock on the next door. They knocked with a rat-a-tat-tat. The door opened wide. And they said, Hello! <laughs> Please, we beg you, we really beg you to hear about Krishna all day long. Talk of his love and trickeries. Remember him and sing his songs. Pop will go your miseries. We promise, we promise, we really, really promise. You guys, oh, what are we going to do with you? You know what? You two, Nichinanda and Haridas, are not like ordinary people. Ordinary people don't go around knocking on people's doors and telling them to chant Krishna's names. You don't do that. Proper people don't do that. So if you do this again, do you know what we're going to do? We are going to call the police. Okay, in our days, we're not calling the police, we're calling the king. And the king is going to send his guards and they're going to get you and they're going to lock you up and they're going to put you in prison. They're going to throw away the key. Do you want that? Do you want that? No, nobody wants that. So if you were smart, you would never, ever knock on our door again. And we suggest you don't knock on anyone's door again because this it's not a good thing to do. You don't do this. Go away now. And I hope you learn your lesson. You don't ever try knocking on people's doors because you try it. You try it one more time. We're going to call the police. The king. You try it. Nityananda and Haridas walked away. But they were not deterred because they knew that Krishna was on their side. They were following Krishna's orders. Nothing could harm them. They had nothing to be scared of and they laughed heartily. <laughs> We've got nothing to be scared of. These people are threatening all these threats, but it's okay. We just want to help them. We just want to help them. And we know, we know that Krishna will protect us. Oh, 
Hi, my name is Chuck Eye. I'm born a Brahmin boy. I hang around with other drunks and killing is my joy. I go this way, that way, forward, backward, terrify all I see. A bottle of rum to warm my tongue, and that's the life of me. <laughs> Oh hi, my name is Muddy. I'm born a Brahmin boy. I hang around with other drunks and killing is my joy. I fall this way, that way, forward, backward, terrify all I see. A bottle of rum to warm my tongue and that is the life of me. <laughs> There were people hiding. <laughs> Nichinanda and Haridas saw them too and they hid as well. <laughs> they said, hello, why are we hiding? Who are we hiding from? The people said, we're hiding from those two. Who? Those two. I can't see anyone. Keep your voice down. It's those two over there. Who? <laughs> Can you not see them? Not really. Have a look over in that direction. Well, oh. Oh yeah, who are they? Well, those two, they are two boys that were brought up, they were Brahmins, they were brought up in a really, really good family, but they've been hanging around with very bad people, with other drunks, and they've become drunk as well. And they're very, very scary, and we need to hide from them because if they see us, they'll do something terrible. Like what? asked Nityananda. Well, they, I don't know if I should tell you. Oh, go on, tell us. Okay, they, they drink alcohol <gasps> and also eat cows. <gasps> Not cows, yes. They also steal, oh my goodness. And they, they do worse than that. They burn houses down. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. Yes, that is. And if they catch us looking at them for no reason, they'll just, they'll just come up to our house and they'll burn it down. And they do, they, they kill people. They do all sorts of terrible things. The most terrible, terrible things. Are, we, we can't even describe them. All the terrible things you can think of, they have done and they continue to do. Nityananda had a light bulb moment. Oh my goodness, Haridas. These two need to know about Krishna. Imagine if these two, they must be really suffering if they want to cause suffering to everyone else. But if they hear about Krishna, if they remember Krishna, if they worship Krishna, Oh my goodness, they'll be so happy. Everyone else said, Are you crazy, Nityananda? You, you can't go to them. They're going to catch you and they're going to kill you. You could not do that. Nityananda said, I am going to do it. I've already decided. And Lord Chaitanya is going to give them his mercy. I know it. I just know it. And oh my goodness, I'm going to be the best servant of Lord Chaitanya because these two will become great devotees of the Lord. <laughs> yeah, right, fat chance. Oh my God, they nearly looked our way. Let's hide. Nityananda said, I'm going. No, oh, don't go. Should Nityananda go? He's going to go anyway. And off he went. One two, three, don't do it, they cried. 
he didn't mind. He carried on going. Four, five, six. Please come back! I'm still going. Seven, eight, nine. But he was smart as well. He didn't want to go too close to them. He stood a little bit further back and he called out to them because just just in case they do try and catch him. He needs a little bit of distance so he can run away. He said, hello, Jugai. Hello, Madai. Oh, really, I have a message for you two. You guys, you just have to, you just have to hear about Krishna all day long. Talk of his love and trickeries. Remember him and sing his songs. Pop will go your miseries. Pop, your wealth is here. Pop, he's your everything. Then you'll see Krishna's here. Mm. They turned their heads towards Nityananda. Their eyes were red, hot with anger. They said, catch him. Kill him! And they started to run after Nityananda and Haridas. Whoa! Nityananda and Haridas, they ran. They ran as fast as they could so that Jagai and Madai couldn't catch them. But they were coming up behind them very, very close. Oh, run it, I run it, I run, run, run. Mud, I will catch you and kill you just for fun. Run, hurry, thus run, hurry, thus run, run, run. Jagai will catch you and kill you just for fun. Oh, oh. They were running as fast as they could, and Jagai and Mudai, they were big and fat. They were running pretty fast. Oh no, oh no, do you think they're going to escape? Well, as they were running, Haridas was really, really anxious. He was very worried. He kept looking behind him and he said to Nitai, to Lord Nityananda, Oh, Nityananda, this is, this is all your fault. Today, I think I'm going to die. I think, I think today's the day. Today's the day I'm going to die. And it's all because of you. Nityananda said, Haridas, it's not because of me, it's because of our Lord. It's our Lord, it's your Lord that told you to, told you to go to every house and every person and ask them to chant Krishna's names. It's not me, it's your Lord who's to blame. Oh no, it's you, Nitai. Nityananda, you're so restless. You know that, you, you're just so restless, it's all your fault. Oh goodness, Nityananda said, hey, hurry Das, it's not all my fault, you came with us as well, you came too, we both went and asked them to chant Krishna's names, it's not my fault, hurry Das said, oh Nithai, I just can't, I've got a stitch, I can't run, I'm getting tired, I can't run anymore, hurry, Nityananda, I, can't, I, I just can't run anymore, oh my goodness, I'm going to die today, oh my goodness, I'm going to die, just because I wanted to ask people to chant Krishna's names. Today's the day I'm going to die. Honestly, children, he looked behind him. Jagai and Madai weren't there anymore. I think we've lost them. You're right. We have lost them. They were really fat. <laughs> and they were really drunk. They must have got really, really confused and just started beating each other up. Phew, anyway, we're safe now. Whew, let's go home. Let's go and see Lord Chaitanya. Whew, and off they went to back to see Lord Chaitanya. Now, when they got back, Nityananda and Haridas told Lord Chaitanya everything that happened. Nityananda said, Oh, Lord Chaitanya, we did everything that you said. We went around to every house we knocked. We said, hear about Krishna all day long, talk of his love and trickeries, remember him, sing his songs, pop will go your miseries. Yes, we did all of that. Yes, good. No, 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 you don't understand. Something terrible has just happened. What happened? Well, 
we did that and then we saw two drunk people that were in the streets and because you told us to tell everyone we went up to them and we told them and uh, and, and then they chased us and they wanted to kill us and, and, and we nearly died. We were running for our lives and we nearly died and oh my gosh, it was terrible, it was terrible. Lord Chaitanya said, who are these two people? And then the devotees that were in the house explained to Lord Chaitanya who they were. They said, oh Lord Chaitanya, these two are called Jagai and Madai, and they're really, really, really scary and really evil people. They eat meat, they drink alcohol, they steal, they burn houses, they kill people, they do, they do all the most terrible, terrible sins you could ever think of. They do all of that. Lord Chaitanya said, watch if they ever come to this house, watch what I do to them. Lord Nityananda said, yeah, you can say what you like, but I am not leaving this house. I'm staying right here, right next to you. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not leaving this house while those two crazy people are alive. Oh, I'm staying right here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Actually, Nityananda had a thought. Hey, you can talk about all the terrible things you're going to do to them if they come here, but how about, how about you turn them into devotees? Devotees of Krishna. Do you think you can do that? Do you think you can do that? I think I can. Yes. Yes, I think I will. Everyone listen. Where are your ears? <laughs> he said, everyone listen, in the next few days, Jagai and Madai are going to be dancing here in this house with us. They will have pure love for Krishna. Everyone was amazed. They put up their hands in the sky and they said, Jay, Jay, Hari, Hari. And everyone was very happy. Meanwhile, Haridas was speaking to Advaita. Advaita was another special person. He was Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva even came to be in this pastime as well. And he was as Advaita. So Lord Brahma was Haridas and Lord Shiva was Advaita. Now Haridas was speaking to Advaita and he said, Oh Advaita, you don't know what it's like to go out to the streets and ask people to chant Krishna's names with Nityananda, with that Nithai. He's, he's, he, he's crazy. He's actually crazy. Can I tell you what he does? He, he, goes, he goes swimming in the Ganges and there's like loads of crocodiles in there. He goes swimming in the Ganges and then he wrestles the crocodiles. And then I call him, I go Nithai, and he doesn't listen. And then he sees some little boys outside and then he jumps out of the water and then he goes and he beats them up. Then I get into trouble and then he goes and asks little girls to marry him and then he runs away and I get into trouble. And then, and then, do you know what he does? He steals butter and yogurt from cowherd men and I get into trouble. And then he rides on the back of an ox and he acts like, I'm Lord Shiva. He actually says, I'm Lord Shiva. <laughs> See what I have to put up with, Advaita. And today, he went up to two drunkards. He went up to drunk people. This crazy person went up to two other crazy people. And because of that, we nearly lost our lives. We were running and, oh, it was terrible. Advaita said, what do you expect, Haridas? Nitai is crazy, he's a madman. And those two, Jagai and Madai, they're mad too. Drunk people, Nittai's drunk. He's drunk with the love of Krishna. And those two are drunk with alcohol. But drunk people like to associate with drunk people. What were you doing there, Harida? Hmm. Swim, swim, swim. Nittai is so keen. To catch a croc in the Ganges While Hari Das will scream Nithai! Catch, catch!
catch, catch. Nithai is so keen to catch a boy and beat him up while Harry Das will scream. Oh, Nithai! <laughs> Steal, steal, steal. Nithai is so keen to steal butter and yogurt from cowherd men while Harry thus will scream. Nithai! <laughs> marry, marry, marry. Nithai is so keen to ask little girls to marry him while Harry thus will scream. Oh, Nithai! <laughs> Ride, ride, ride on the back of an ox. Nithai is so keen to and say, I'm Lord Shiva, while Harry thus will scream, Oh, Nithai! <laughs> It was night time. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. It was night time and Jagai and Madai were right by their very special place that they liked to hang out. It was a gut. It was a place by the river Ganges and actually, as a matter of fact, it was right by Lord Chaitanya's house. So they had actually heard Lord Chaitanya and his friends singing and dancing at night time. They hadn't gone in obviously but they'd been able to hear outside and they'd even danced along. Oh, oh yeah I like this! <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Cool music! Cool music! <laughs> They danced away. They had no idea what it was. They'd had a little bit of enjoyment of it. But this evening, they'd been splish splashing in the river Ganges. Splish splash splosh. Splish splash splosh. And drinking loads of rum. Having loads of fun. Drinking loads of rum, all splish, splash, splosh. Should we do that again? Let's do it again. Oh, splish, splash, splosh. Splish, splash, splosh. I'm drinking loads of rum, having loads of fun. Drinking loads of rum, all splish, splash, splosh. Oh my goodness, they were having a lovely time. But they were having a lovely drunk time. At that moment, Lord Nityananda passed them. He knew that today was going to be a very special evening. He walked past them. He actually came quite close to them. Mud, I said, Hey, who are you? Who are you? Nityananda said, I'm going to my Lord's house. Mud, I said, What's your name? Nityananda said, My name is Avadut. My dad got angry. Just hearing that name, it just, just made him angry. He picked up a pot, a clay pot, and he threw it straight at Lord Nityananda, and it hit his head. Nityananda fell to the ground, and his head was bleeding. Drip, drop, drip, drip, drop, drip. Nithai's head is bleeding. He's fallen to the ground. Oh, Nithai's head is bleeding. Drip, drop, drip, 
drip, drop, drip, drip, drop, drip. Nithai's head is bleeding, he's fallen to the ground. Nithai's head is bleeding, oh drip, drop, drip. Oh no, oh no. Nityananda did not say anything. He just smiled at the two drunkards and he remembered Govinda. He remembered Krishna. He didn't feel any pain. He didn't feel any fear. He was just remembering Krishna. Madai picked up the pot again. He was gonna, he was gonna smash another pot on his head. At that moment, as he lifted up the pot, Jagai, his brother Jagai, out of all people, stopped him. He said, hey, what on earth are you doing? Leave other doot alone. He hasn't done anything to you. Well, what are you going to gain out of hurting such a person? He's a sannyasi. Well, how can you do such a thing to him? Jagai was getting a little bit soft-hearted. Don't know what came over him, but he had stopped Madai from hurting Nidai again. In the meantime, some people that had been really scared and spying on Jagai and Madai had seen what had happened and they'd run and told Lord Chaitanya who was very nearby, he was in his house. Lord Chaitanya ran out. He was very, very, very angry. Chaitanya ran, invoking his Sudarshan Chakra. He was ready to slice and dice those two miscreants to pieces. Oh my goodness, Lord Chaitanya was angry. I'm gonna need your help. Are you ready? I'm going to need your two hands. Can you clap your hands twice again? And can you stamp your foot while you put your arms out? Are you ready? We are going to war. Hooah. Yay! Brilliant! Come, 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 chakra. Chakra! Come, 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 chakra. Chakra! Come, 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 chakra. Chakra! Chaitanya ran, anger in his eyes. How dare they beat Nithai tonight? He's got blood on his face. Big disgrace. Granga's gonna make them pay in this place. Come, 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 chakra. Chakra! Come, 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 chakra. Chakra! Come, 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 chakra. Chakra! Wait! Lord Chaitanya, please put the chakra away. Jagai saved me. Jagai saved me. Saved Jagai me. Lord Chaitanya. Jagai Saved All me. he Jagai could hear right now were those Jagai words. Saved me. Jagai saved me. Jagai? Jagai? You? You saved my Nityananda? Jagai said, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I did, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Hmm. For that, Lord Chaitanya said, I will give you love for Krishna. Not only that, you can ask for any wish that you'd like, any wish, anything that you'd like. Ask me, please ask me. Jagai could not believe his ears. Really? Me? But I've done so many bad things. I, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Oh, oh. Oh, he fainted. He was completely overwhelmed. He couldn't believe someone could be so kind to him and give him the best of the best of the best things after all the bad of the bad of the bad things he'd done. Oh dear. Lord Chaitanya asked Jagai to get up. Wake up, Jagai! Jagai opened his eyes again. And then Lord Chaitanya said, See my four-armed form. Jagai could not believe what he was seeing. Oh my lord. Oh, oh. He fainted again. Oh my goodness, what is happening to this Jagai? He keeps fainting. 
At that moment, Lord Chaitanya put his foot on Jagai's chest. What would you do if Lord Chaitanya put his foot on your chest? Do you know what I would do? I would hold his foot and I'd cuddle his foot and I would not want to let it go. And that's exactly what Jagai did. He said, oh, oh, Lord Chaitanya. And he held his foot and he was cradling it and hugging it. Oh, he was so excited. Madai saw this. He said, hey, me and Jagai, we did the same thing. We're like twins. I do bad things, he does bad things. We did all the same bad things. So why does he get this and, and I don't get any of that? That's not fair. And you, 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 you Krishna, weren't you in your, in your last life? You, I know what you are, you Krishna. And I know you've killed demons and you've given them like all, all your mercy. But so uh, you should give me mercy too. Goranga was very, very strict. He said, no, you were not like those demons. You were worse. Mada said, eh? How's that? Lord Chaitanya, he said, you were worse because do you know what you did? Those demons, they hurt me and I wasn't hurt. And it doesn't bother me when demons are mean to me. But if someone is mean to my devotee, oh, that makes me angry. And you were very, very mean to Lord Nityananda. You hurt him. I will not give you my mercy. Madai felt very forlorn. Well, I still don't think that's fair. That's really not fair. There must be a chance for me, something. Something! Lord Chaitanya said, Well, you can go to Nityananda himself and you can beg for his forgiveness. Madai went straight to Lord Nityananda's feet and bowed down to him and Nityananda said, Oh, of course I'm going to give you my mercy. Of course, of course. And he said, All the good things that I've done, all the good credits that I've got done, I want them all to go to you, Madai. I don't want any goodness to, to any good credits to come to me, to come back to me. I want it all to go to you. That's how much I just want all the best for you, Madai. And everyone was very, very happy. Jagai and Madai, they fell down again. They could not believe how kind. All these devotees and Lord Chaitanya were to them. They were the worst of the worst. They couldn't understand all of this kindness. And then Lord Chaitanya said to all the devotees, take these two back to my house. All together, we're going to sing and dance and chant Krishna's names together. And before, Whenever anyone came in contact with Jagai and Madai, they'd run and jump into the river Ganges to purify themselves. But now they're going to change their views. They're going to think, oh, when we're near Jagai and Madai, we'll become purified because they're such nice, nice devotees of Krishna. That's what's going to happen. Oh, everyone was very, very happy. And they took Jagai and Madai back to Lord Chaitanya's house. Goranga gave Jagai love for the Lord. What about me, Madai implored? It's not up to me, Goranga cried. My devotees are worth more than my life. Madai fell at Nityananda's feet. I was bad, oh forgive me please. Goranga reminded Nityananda to be nice. Oh, he didn't need to be told twice. Nityananda said what to do. All of this is mercy from you. Let all my good karma go to this month. I, oh, please, Lord, shower your mercy too. Oh, please, shower your mercy too. Please shower your mercy too. Hare Krishna everybody. 
Thank you so much for listening to this story. I hope you enjoyed it. But before you go, I've got to show you this beautiful, beautiful picture drawn by Gora Priya. She's only six years old and she's all the way from Australia. That's the other end of this world from me because I'm in England. And she's from New Govardhan in Australia. And she watched the video of Nishingadev and she's drawn a beautiful picture of Lord Nishingadev. I bet Lord Nishingadev loves this picture too. Thank you so much for sharing it with us, Gora Priya. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. And look what we have here. This was Lord Balaraman. Oh, the Vida, the gorilla. And oh, there's some two gopis laughing. And oh, wow, a pot of nectar. I can see the pot of nectar. This is beautiful. This, this project was done by Bhagya and Tulsi. Oh, look at those trees and, and the rocks. Oh, my goodness. What, oh, and flowers. Oh my goodness, we've got to have a look at this whole big project. Oh, wow! Oh my goodness, Bagya and Tulsi from the Netherlands. This is an amazing, amazing project. You guys watched the video of Balaram and Vivida the gorilla. And I can see you paid close attention. I can see the, the gopis laughing. Oh my goodness. I can see the pot of nectar, the trees, the rocks, the flowers. Oh, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant and I bet Lord Balaram must be so excited to see this too. Thank you so much. Thank you. And anyone else, any other children, if you'd like to do any projects or drawings or anything to do with any of the videos that you've seen, please jot it down, draw it, get your mummies to take a picture and email it over to Vrinda Kishori Stories at gmail.com and I'll show it in the next video. Okay, enjoy the pictures. Always remember Krishna and never forget Krishna. Bye-bye!